In this video, I'm going to show you guys the build I was using in the Master Raid, the King's Fall Master Raid, to clear all the ads that I was a floater for the lower teams or the L1 to the, to the R1s. And this build, my teammates commended me on this build saying this build was very powerful to help clear out all the ads with this build. So this build is going to take everything we love about a hunter. We're going to jolt everything. We're going to use our liar's handshake in this build to demolish all the ads. And this is the best ad clear build I have found for my hunter. So I can clear any kind of master content with ease. The only downside with this build is that you're not going to be running a super exotic. And what I mean for that is you're not going to be running Star Eater scales. You're going to be using Liar's Handshake. So you're able to demolish all Overload Champions by jolting them. And you're able to slay out all the adds. So you don't have anything buffing your super damage if you really cared about DPS. But this is the build that's going to help you to slay out on adds, stay alive, and be consistent when doing higher end content. I'm going to show you guys what makes this build sparkle and how to make sure you're able to consistently clear adds and complete any kind of master content with the least amount of difficulty possible on a hunter. And I'm not a hunter main, but this build is truly making me think about why I'm not a hunter main every single time I use this build inside of content. So the first thing that makes this build come to life is going to be the first perk that I absolutely love and I will recommend you run it anytime you do run a hunter build and especially this build will be the hands on perk. And you're going to be able to find the hands on perk located on your helmet. But before we jump into the hands-on perk, the stats you need to be building into will be 100 resilience so we're able to tank all of our damage and 100 discipline so we can spam our grenades so we can jolt the targets. But the hands-on perk which is found and located on your helmet, anytime you defeat targets with your melee, you're going to be granted bonus super energy every single time you do that. The reason we want hands-on is so we're able to spam our super consistently. I will be, I'm able to pop my gathering storm once and then gain it back within the next three minutes just by having hands on perk. That's the first thing we need in this build to make it shine. The second thing we have and the primary exotic of this build would be Liar's Handshake. We're using Liar's Handshake for the exotic perk cross counter. Using your arc melee ability or being hit by a powerful melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you. So you have unlimited health regen with this build because you should be neck deep in the ads and punching everything in the vicinity and your second punch will always heal you even if you don't kill that target so i'm able to stand in front of champions and tank every single hit because i am getting healed every single time i punch that champion that's why you're rocking liar's handshake for the cross counter exotic ability now on your gauntlets we want to spawn orbs of power since we're using our melee and the way we will be spawning orbs of power is by using heavy handed and heavy handed is located on your gauntlets and this is how you're able to spawn orbs of power from your powerful melee attacks every time you slay an enemy those are the first two mods we need for this build to work and those are the first two armor pieces we have we have our helmet and we have our gauntlets and our gauntlets will be our exotic piece for our chest we're going to be running nothing special we're just going to be running our damage just mods the reason you run your damage just mods is so you're able to tank a lot of damage while staying alive in the masters king's fall raid my teammates asked me how i was able to stay alive and the reason i did and tank so much damage is because i ran the right damage resist mods and i tanked everything so on your chest piece make sure you're running damage resist mods so solar resistance arc damage resistance or void resistance combined with concussive dampener so you're able to tank a lot of damage now on our leg armor for our leg armor this is very essential for this build to make it work we're gonna need recuperation recuperation makes sure that we replenish our health every time we pick up an orb of power and if you're copying my build exactly you should have heavy handed and hands on so you're spawning orbs of power every single time you do kill an enemy with your melee ability once you pick up that orb of power you're gonna be gaining health those are all the mods you need to make this build sparkle as i said before or shine that's what you need to make this build work and then for our hunter class item our hunter cloak we only need special finisher and powerful attraction we're rocking special finisher so we're able to gain and use all those armor tart stacks to gain special ammo anytime you run low and powerful attraction so every time we dodge we're able to gain all the orbs in the vicinity and get our armor tart stacks so we can use special finisher those are all the mods we need for this build to make it work so if you're not rocking these mods pick them up and i promise you this build will shine aside from that and aside from the exotic we're using the next thing we need is to set up our arc duplano subclass right and to set our arc duplano subclass right we only need two things the two things we we're going to need will be the aspects flow state so once we defeat a jolted target we become amplified and leave the current so after dodging 
our next melee attack has increased lunge range and it jolts our targets. That's how we're able to stun unstoppable and overload targets because of lethal current and being able to jolt our target. Now after those two things, your fragments are completely up to you. You can swap out any fragments you like, but these are the best fragments I've found so far that work well with this build. The first thing we have is sparking feedback, so since we are taking a lot of melee damage, Every time we take melee damage, it's going to increase our outgoing melee damage as well. That's very good in this build. And the next thing we have is Spark of Shock. So our Argonate also jolts targets and we don't have to rely on our melee ability to jolt every single target. The next thing we have is Spark of Magnitude. So our Pulse Grenade will have a longer duration. You can swap yourself for any other fragment you need to make this build shine. And the last thing we do have is Spark of Resistance. So we're more resistant to incoming damage at any given point in time we just have more resistance all around and that's it for the build guys this is the best build i'm currently using on my hunter and it's really making me rethink why i'm not a hunter main but this is the build that's getting me back into d2 making me love the game again while being in a drought season 42 and trying to grind out the rest of the season as always if you guys like the content please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next build video